Oh, man. March Madness, of course. I got to talk about this. March Madness ended earlier this week. Wasn't that exciting? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we got the chess club here tonight. <laughs> what is this March Madness you speak of? <laughs> is it the game where they throw the leather sphere into the hoop? <laughs> well, anyway, it was a big deal. Big deal, NCAA. And, uh... In men's college basketball, of course, the University of Florida won the national championship. Now, yeah, that's great. Now, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big college hoops fan. In fact, last Saturday, I went to a local sports bar to watch the final four games, Florida versus George Mason and UCLA versus LSU. And uh, I didn't want to go alone, so I brought my good pals, Max. Max came along, which was fun. Yeah, hi. And, uh, and Joel, our announcer, Joel. I brought Joel. Yeah. <laughs> he rarely gets out of that booth. Well, anyway, <laughs> we had a great time. And the best part is we took a bunch of pictures at the bar of us hanging out, watching the finals. We just got... I went to the photo shack uh, just about an hour ago, picked up the photos, and I thought... I haven't even looked at them yet, but I thought maybe we could all look at them together. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> yeah! That'd be fun. All right, I'm going to show them to you right now in a piece we're calling NCAA Final Four Photos. This would be good. All right, uh, take a look at these. Uh, first, uh, Max, Joel, and I, we met at Blondie's. It's, it's, it's a sports bar on the Upper West Side, and we met to watch the two semifinal games, and we rubbed each other for a while on the street there. <laughs> And then it was time to go inside. I put on a Florida hat. Yeah, that's a big fan. Uh, Max put on a UCLA hat. Yeah. And Joel put on a basketball net. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good look for you. Uh, well, next, we all ordered some drinks. We got to get some drinks going. Max, pretty manly. Max ordered a Boilermaker. Yeah. I ordered my favorite drink, an Ethel Merman Zingarini. Yeah. Yeah, it's got... <laughs> Three Starbursts, four and it's ruined. Uh, Joel ordered his favorite drink, a glass of turpentine with a rusty knife in it. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Don't let the, don't let the basketball net fool you. Uh... Joel said, here's mud in your eye, and took a big swig. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the whole thing down. Had a little bit of a problem there. <laughs> yeah, more gross than funny. Uh, then, uh, then I said, hey, are you guys pumped to see some college basketball? <laughs> and I said it just like that, too. You guys pumped to see some college basketball, yeah. Max replied, I don't want to brag, but in college, they used to call me Hoops Weinberg. I said, I didn't know you played basketball, Max. Max said, I didn't. So I asked, then why did they call, why did they call you Hoops? And Max showed me. Uh... Yeah, very nice. yeah. I'm so impressed now with your drumming <laughs> after that. Then the Florida George Mason game came on. Now, Joel started booing at the Florida team. Someone tapped him on the shoulder and said, You better stop booing my Gators. And it was University of Florida alum and home improvement guru Bob Vila. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Vila, yeah. Went to the University of Florida. He's an alum. I said, hey, take a hike, Vila. <laughs> or I'll pound you like a 24-ounce milled-faced claw hammer on a sheet of drywall. <laughs> Vila replied, oh, you mean you'll pound me ineffectively? Because for that job, you'd want a 14-ounce hammer with rounded checkered head and a wedge-shaped peen, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I got... I got right in Bob's face and said, the last guy that questioned my choice of hammer ended up in a pine box. Then Bob Vila broke a two-by-four over my head <laughs> and hit me in the crotch with a can of paint. 
That looks like my Trump impression, by the way. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, to change the subject, Max told me he bet half a million dollars on UCLA. Well, the game started, and UCLA won the tip-off. Max screamed, I'm rich! <laughs> then, just as Max was putting on a top hat and monocle to, ce to celebrate being rich, LSU scored the first basket. Well, Max didn't take that very well. He got very depressed. <laughs> so I went back to talking to Joel. I asked Joel if he knew what the over-under was. Joel said, are you kidding? I invented it. <laughs> then he showed us an over-under. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, just about that. Yeah, we didn't like it either. Yeah. Just about then, Shaquille O'Neal came into the bar to root for his alma mater. Yeah. I invited Shaq to sit with us. Yeah. <laughs> then Max got right in his face and said, Sorry, Shaq, but LSU is going down and there's nothing you or your so called huge penis can do about it. <laughs> I told Max to take it easy. Max said, trust me, mine's way bigger. <laughs> then Max said, now let's see what's going on in there. <laughs> Max looked down Shaq's pants. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... <laughs> and turned white as a ghost. Uh... <laughs> Just then, Bob Vila came back. He said, the Gators are going all the way. And he said, there's nothing you or your so-called huge penis can do about it, Shaq. <laughs> then he said, now let's see what's going on in there. <laughs> and Bob Vila peeked into Shaq's pants. <laughs> and turned white as a ghost. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, UCLA dominated LSU from start to finish and won the game easily. Shaq was beside himself. Yeah, he looks really upset. Uh, I guess we couldn't find a photo of him upset. Joel said... <laughs> Joel said, there, there, Shaq. I know how to turn that frown upside down. Aww. Joel and Shaq joined each other in an over-under. <laughs> well, it was the best final four ever. It really was. It was... Congratulations. That was disgusting. I'm ashamed of myself my show and my network. We'll take a break. When we come back, Jeff Daniels is here. Stick around. Jeff.